Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Jelena Dembo and Katarina Dolzikova. This game was played in Beijing in 2008. Have you heard of Jelena Dembo? Did you know that Jelena was only three years old when she played in her first chess tournament? Amazing! I learned to play chess when I was 10 years old. But did you know that I was talented at karate? Yep. When I started my karate, they told me that I was so good that they immediately gave me white belt. Mm. Okay, enough bragging about me. Let's look at Yelena's game. Yelena started with e4, c5, Sicilian defense. Is it really necessary to say Sicilian defense? Yes, I am warming up my speech muscles. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4, defending a6, bishop to c4, e6, bishop to b3, sozin attack. That is what Bobby Fischer used to play. Anatoly Karpov preferred to have his bishop on e2 against this black system. Okay, the game continued. b5, Yelena castled kingside, bishop to b7, rook to e1, knight from b to d7, bishop to g5, bishop to e7 and pinning, and black is one move away from castling. Black may be also threatening b4. How should white continue? What would you do if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and find the best plan for white. Are you ready? What did you find? a3 is not bad, is it? Preventing b4. Yelena Dembo sacrificed the bishop. On e6. Did you see this coming? How do you know if your sacrifice would work? Let's play the moves in our mind and see if we have enough compensation for a sacrifice piece. So, bishop takes pawn, pawn takes Bishop, knight takes on e6, forking the queen and the pawn on g7. Queen goes to c7, b6 or a5. And we grab one more pawn with check. So for a sacrificed piece, we get three pawns plus the attack on black king. Plenty of compensation. So bishop takes. We don't have to see the game until the end. This is plenty. Bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes, forking the queen and the pawn on g7, queen to b6, knight takes on g7, check. And like we said, three pawns plus attack is ample of compensation. King to f7, knight to f5, bishop to f8, preserving black, dusk with bishop. Queen to f3, lining the queen with black, king. Rook to e8, a3. White move allowing black to go wrong. Rook to g8 attacking the bishop on g5. Bishop to h4. Knight to e5 attacking the queen. This move looks good at first, but it has a downside. What is a downside of this move? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Yelena Dembo played knight to h6 check and Katarina Dolzikova resigned. In view of this variation, if king goes to e7, then queen takes knight on f6 check, king to d7, knight takes rook. And now, for a sacrificed piece, Yelena has three pawns, a rook and an ox. I mean, knight. 
And what if a black king goes to the other side? If king goes to g7, then queen takes knight. Check. Mate. Brilliantly played game by Yelena Dembo. Do you agree? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.